In this video in our playlist, I'm going to teach you how to add the hidden lines to your drawings. Whether you chose to use the bisector method on the left, or you ignored and skipped the bisector section and just went with the basic method, making sure that there's the same number of squares between each of the views, your result is actually identical. Now, let's talk about hidden lines. With the hidden lines, let's begin by talking about this hole here in the front view. In real life, it's this hole over here. But the thing about this hole is that although it's visible from the front view, you can't actually see it uh, on the top view, nor can you see it on the right view. This is where the hidden lines come in. So let's pretend that we had x-ray vision and we could peer inside the piece of wood. And this is what we could see, that the hole is actually one inch deep. Well, we would need to communicate that in our orthographic drawing. The way we would do that is we would use hidden lines. To draw a hidden line, you're drawing dotted lines. They're not solid because all the solid lines are visible features. The dotted lines are saying, hey, this feature exists, but you could only see it if you had x-ray vision. So to draw the hidden lines for the hole on this view here, go to the leftmost point of the hole, which is here, and draw a light projection line. As you can see, this is exactly the same as when you drew the top view. Next, you're gonna do the same thing with the rightmost point of the hole. With these two projection lines, we know the left part of the hole starts here and the right part of the hole starts here. Again, the hidden lines have to line up with what you see in the front view. Now, because we know that the hole is one inch deep, that means we need to go one inch into this block this way. Using our scale, that's two squares. And again, Hidden lines are dotted. They're not solid. So there's my first hidden line. Now we're going to need to do the same thing for the right view. So once again, let's pretend that we've got x-ray vision. This is what we would see. It is one inch deep. So again, to draw the hidden lines on our right view. Start by drawing your projection lines. This time, start at the top of the hole in your front view. And then you're gonna lightly draw that projection line. And you're gonna do the same thing for the bottom of the hole. Now remember, the hole starts here. So it's actually gonna start over here and we know it's one inch deep or one inch to the right, which means we need to go one inch from here to the right. Using our scale, that's two squares. So that's the first, that's the top of the hole. And you can see it lines up with the bottom You know you've done this right when you've indicated them using dotted lines. And if you use a ruler to line them up, the edges of the holes in the front view line up with the, ed with the edges of the holes in the top view, like here and here. And the top and bottom of the hidden lines on the right view line up with the hole. So you can see they line up like this, and they line up like this. With the hidden lines for the holes done, our last step is to do the hidden lines for this slot here. Now, as you can see, we can visualize the slot in our top view here. When we look on the blue right view, we can see that that slot feature is drawn over here. However, we also need to illustrate that same slot detail on the front view. But if we're looking from the front, we can't see it. Once again, it's time to use hidden lines. 
since we already have the slot in these two views, we only need to do the slot on our front view. Find the bottom of the slot on the right view. Lightly draw that projection line. And since the slot runs all the way through from the furthest right point to the furthest left point, we're going to do little dotted lines all along the top of that front view. Again, you know you've done a good job when the bottom of that slot lines up with the hidden line. And of course, it's a dotted line. At this point, just for neatness, take your eraser and erase any of the little projection lines. It just makes things look a little bit neater. And if you happen to use a really light pencil, then it would be a good idea to take a darker pencil or go over the lines again so they're nice and dark. And so that's how you do an orthographic drawing. At this point, I'm just going to show you how to use the bisector line to draw those same hidden lines. If you're just figuring out how to use the basic method, shut off the rest of the video and just keep practicing. But for those of you who are curious about the bisector method, let me show you. Starting with the hole, you're going to do the same strategy as you did before when you're doing the hidden lines for the hole up on the top. You're going to do a hidden line on the top view. And you can use the bisector to figure out where the hole should actually be. So the corner of this hole will be this blue dot over here. You're going to use the projection lines to follow that blue dot all the way to the right until you hit the bisector. And that's where that blue dot intersects with the bisector. And then, much like you've done before, you travel downward along the bisector. And you'll notice that the end of that hole is going to be located here. So the hole starts at the square and ends at that blue dot area. The rest is just drawing lines. So there's the bottom of my hole, starts at the square, ends at the blue dot. And I know that that's where it's supposed to end because of the bisector. And that's what it looks like when it's done. And once again, whether you chose to use the bisector method or the basic method, the result is the same. And that's how you do a three view orthographic drawing. Thanks for watching.